Welcome to Nojo Tech Challenge. Today we are going to talk about a device called Contactor and how it works. Reason for me to do this video is because of my coming videos about how, how to build automatic changeover switch, which Contactor is the major part of this switch. So I just reason myself like, if I put this video there and people did not understand how the system really work, they were able to do it but they can't be creative with it. So that's why I felt like we should do it step by step. First talk about the system itself and then we can now build on what we have learned. So let's get into it. What is a contactor? A contactor is an electric switch which is used to connect or disconnect load from power source. Contactor are designed for I power switching application. What are the components of this contactor? First, we are going to talk about the coil, which is the major one. And then we have coil terminal. This terminal is what we are going to wire for this coil to be powered. And there's something called fixed core. As it was called, it is fixed. It doesn't move. And we have another one, moving core. This one is the one that will be moving up and down. So when you hear your contactor energized, pa, is the one that went down. And then when the power is taken out of the contactor and you hear pa again, that that thing is released, is this moving core that is going up and coming down. But what makes that possible is the spring. It's not the spring that is dragging it down, but it, the job of the spring is to make it go up. So, okay, let me make it more clearer. If this, when this coil is being powered, it will generate magnetic force, electromagnetic force. And this electromagnetic force, you know, when you bring matter close to magnets, it will attract it. So, it will attract this moving core. And this moving core will push down this spring so that it can energize. So immediately this power is out from the coil. The electromagnetic force is out already. It's the spring that will now push this moving core up, back. So it's like, do me and do you. You press me down, I press you up. So that's how it works. Okay, this is a contactor. Let's wire it. Connect the neutral. Connect the life into it. You can see that the moving core has come down and you can see that it pressed down this spring and what happened here is the presence of electromagnetic force so immediately the electromagnetic force presence in this coil it will drag down the moving coil so let's talk about the other part of this contactor because this is not the only part of the contactor this is the other part of this contactor we have many terminals so there is something called normally open normally close what is meaning of normally close normally close means that when this contactor is not energized no presence of magnetic force this these two these terminals will be closed and you can see that it's closed as you can see in the video and then what is normally open normally open is when these contactors is still is not being energized this terminal is open and you can see that this is not the only terminal that is open here Look at this up here. All these other terminals, they are open when the contactor is not energized. So you will see T1, T2, T3, L1, L2, L3. They are opens, they are normally open terminals. And the other parts, you will see them highlight N O. They are normally open when the contactor is not energized. 
and when you see nc it means that it means normally close when the contactor is not yet energized okay now let's see how it will look like when this contactor is energized you will see that automatically normally close with the open and normally open with the close it's like it will work in reverse normally open with the close normally close with the open so you can see that all these place all these terminals that are open before that are not close you can see now that they are close together they are close together they are close together and the trick is the moving core with the rod on it we drag dynamic terminals that that terminal that connects one terminal to the other is the dynamic terminal it will drag down and connect it with the static terminal and it also happened here too so immediately that that this this moving core move down it release the normally close it's now open and close the normally open so that's the trick about this contactor so you may want to do something that okay this thing you want it to be working maybe in reverse when this one is on this one should be off when this one is off this one should be on you just need to just pick one side to be at normally open and the other side to be at normally closed that's all and that's exactly what is going to happen when we are talking about automatic changeover switch it will close and open one it will open and close the other one so please watch out for my video on how to build automatic changeover switch